Dahlia Black and TK Cooper hail from New Zealand, but are now London-based. Prolonged moments of over-the-top passionate kissing becomes a crowd-baiting, overtly titillating act, which both delights and annoys the fans. Everything you hate about public displays of affection, we've taken that and we've just, we're shoving it in everyone's face. It's a really interesting juxtaposition actually when, you know, everyone's fighting, killing each other and then you're snogging. Yeah. <laughs> it's Sorry. actually really interesting. Yeah. You can see people getting visibly uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, and we love that. And then when we came over here, like, we were thinking, you know, we've got to be serious, we've got to find something that sticks out, find something that uh, no one else has really kind of done before. What if we just did us? What if we just did us, but blow it out out of proportion and become this like intergender wrestling couple? We were in the first intergender match that Progress put on, and uh, I think that's like a massive achievement for us. I think the thing, like the whole like bad vibe, just comes from like the characters aren't so like bothered with the fans. Mm. It's just kind of we're more into each other, so then people start to boo, and then we kind of react like we don't understand why there's a problem. Basically, through that, we've just decided we've become bad people because everybody doesn't like us. It's, it's so self-absorbed. Yeah, it's yeah. just kind of like a like we we see ourselves as the heroes, but everyone else sees us as the villain sort of thing. So we don't understand it. They want to get our attention, and we're not giving it to them. So they give it give us more and more and more. their reactions inspire you to do different things yeah. as well. I think it's really cool. And that's how we're so lucky to have fans like that. Honestly, like the the fans giving us so much we can give them tenfold and then they give us tenfold back and it's just this never ending climax. <laughs> My name's Shakara and I've been wrestling for a year and a half. Hello, I'm Laura and uh, I've been wrestling for like two and a half years pretty much. Just watching from TV and just looking at like all the divas at the time, I was like, I was obsessed and uh, found progress. And uh, I was like, cool, like, I'm gonna do this now. Like, this is now never an opportunity to do it while I'm young. And yeah. I, I used to watch in Italy, back in Italy, I used to watch. I was obsessed with the divas as well. Like, I wanna, I wanna do that, I wanna be like them. So hopefully now we get to inspire all the girls. They're, they're shown as more equal to men now as they were before. They're getting more ring time. The people are looking forward just as much looking to seeing women wrestle as much as seeing the men wrestle, which is a huge difference. People want to see us wrestle. People want to see us for our true ability. And that's the best thing about it. Like it's it's getting better and better each time. So yeah, yeah. I mean we're using the word divas, but obviously it's not it's the word is dead. It's, like, dead now, it's just, yeah, just a wrestler. people come together to watch something that everyone just loves and that's wrestling yeah i mean just coming out coming out from there in front of you see all these people it's, it's, and it's gonna give me chills like i'm like I, was, I did a ring crew for about a year just aspiring to be on that stage and now today today i'm gonna be doing that is it's blowing I'm, I'm nervous i'm scared i'm excited yeah, it's, it's the best thing ever Glenn, we've got a match right here steeped 
in progress history. We're looking at the first and second ever progress champions, the first ever two-time progress tag champions, El Laguero against Nathan Cruz. Um, there is only one Lucha <laughs> That's right, and his name is El Laguero. I genuinely have no idea how one becomes a Lucha Otter. I don't, I don't know, but if anyone can do it, El Laguero can. Oh, here we go, show stolen. Hits it! Now that's the move that won him the... Oh, the oh. is Thailand! Oh, I think, oh, I think Glenn playtime is over now. Oh, back elbow catches Laguero coming in. Nathan Cruz off the second row. Oh, catches him with the car. And now Laguero up to the top rope. Might see that top rope splash. Thumbs down. Huge yes. splash by Laguero. One, two! Oh, and Cruz talking back on the leg of Ligero! 